There are a lot of people who are concerned about the vaccine, and I'd just like to um, hear from you. What are some of the, your thoughts on the community concerns? Well, the, the concerns that come up a lot has to do with trust and has to do with the past practices in our country. So we live in a country that has an underlying systemic racism that impacts everything from where you can shop to where you get your health care. And, you know, the most famous of these is the Tuskegee experiment. And so there's a natural apprehension within the African-American community about trusting things that are unknown, that there's not as much information on, or that has any kind of scientific experimentation. So our community needs trusted messengers and people that they know that they can talk to and be able to hear from, and that's kind of why we're here today, so that people can hear from trusted leaders, from people who are active and engaged, people who look like them, and be able to know about that. I mean, you can look at what has been happening in this country for 400 years and see how the system has been slanted against black and brown communities. We're seeing COVID-19 morbidity and mortality because of the social context in which people of color live their lives. In terms of everyday stressors, in terms of um, racial stratification and educational opportunity, racial stratification and employment, and access to care, and wealth, right? And so those sorts of reasons are why we have higher risk. Not a particular genetic susceptibility. I see the black community as very critical consumer of information. And so people want to talk about it as mistrust, but I like to frame it as being a critical consumer of information in part because the history of medical experimentation on the black body is real. And so the skepticism is warranted. And so we really do need to thank you, Mr. Palmer, for giving us some of that history, right? Because that is the context that we need to really put at the forefront when we start thinking about community or framing community readiness for the vaccine. Um, Dr. Hamler, anything so, you'd like so to add? I, I know it, it comes down to me, all the racial disparity that there is in healthcare overall. And this has just exacerbated it because you see the data we talked about initially, how the, the disparate numbers of access, um, those who are actually receiving the vaccine, they're disproportionate. So to me, if we can get whatever entities are involved, and I'm talking at the CEO level, I'm talking at the grassroots level, to make sure that folks who don't have access to care get that care. We were talking earlier about, you know, what we did for testing. Yes. How M Health provided, you know, the, um, the, the structure for us to go to Progressive Baptist Church. And we did, that was very successful for testing. You can do the same thing with vaccinations. That's gonna bring down that disparity. It's gonna take some of this, this hurt away. COVID doesn't care who you are, obviously. But at the same time, you're seeing that the numbers reflect that who's getting care now. Well, and in the case of partnering with, with the church, uh, they helped us drive registration. They helped us enroll mm -hmm. patients. Yeah, and you um, could they follow them then. The you could follow up to Right, them. we knew where to find everyone. And so it was a place where people felt comfortable coming to. And uh, so it was just kind of a natural extension of the, the outreach and the work that that, that um, church is already doing in the community. So I think that's a really interesting and, and strong point to make. We talk a lot about black people being hesitant about getting the vaccine. I think there are a lot of black people who want the vaccine, but can't get it. And we're not talking enough about that conversation. We're not having enough of that conversation. It goes to navigating these barriers. So any way that we can support individuals to navigate those, those barriers. And so what I'm hoping we will see and that the community will see is for us to step in and help navigate barriers. And I think we have to be very communicative about what we're doing. We all have to take whatever steps on our journey to get comfortable. And I had to do that for myself. And then Monday I got the vaccine and I'm fine. It went well, but I, you know, I was a slow adopter. And so um, I think the advice that I would give is if 
Again, you may have to go on the journey that I went on to do your sort of background homework, right? But then once you do that, and you see what vaccine is available to you right now, in our community it's mostly the Pfizer, Moderna, mRNA one, go for whichever one is offered. Fantastic, so, thank you very much.